I cannot accuse Don Cornelio of smuggling and treason when everybody in Los Angeles owns something that was not made in Spain. I choose not to hear that, Sergeant. Nevertheless, it is true. It had better not be. Because if it is, then you are the one who is guilty of treason. Me? And for you, the penalty would be death. The death penalty for me? Why? If, as acting Comandante, you publicly admit that everyone trades with the enemies of Spain, then you are guilty of treason because you have willfully failed to enforce His Majesty's laws. But I didn't. I mean, I haven't. And for that, I will see you hang! The Walt Disney Studio presents Zorro, starring Guy Williams. <laughs> Sergeant Garcia. Sit down, Sergeant. Here, near me. Please have one of these, Sergeant. I can assure you they're of excellent quality. Light it for him, Capitan. And be quick about it. Sergeant, I owe you an apology. I had no idea you had been in the army for so long a time. See, in just three weeks, it will be 20 years. I uh, suppose you've thought of retiring. No, I love the army, Your Excellency. But you know, of course, that you can retire after 20 years of service. See, si, but I do not wish to. Oh. Uh, but uh, have you thought of the land you could own? Land? <laughs> I have no money for land. Oh, but you don't need any. There is a law that permits the Crown to give land to retired soldiers. I did not know about that. Of course. Now, what do you think about retiring? Well, I... I would still like the Army, Your Excellency. I'm surprised, Sergeant. I have always thought you would make an excellent haciendado. Yes. I can easily envision it. You, the master of a large hacienda, which would be the social center of all Los Angeles, presided over by yourself, Don Demetrio Garcia. Don Demetrio Lopez Garcia. Sergeant, you are my friend. I can make this come true for you. You can, Your Excellency? All you have to do is retire. After all, it's your duty to accept the land. My duty. Yes, it, it would set an example to the other soldiers. Encourage them to give the same faithful service to the king that you have, Sergeant. See, si, Your Excellency. Adios, Don Demetrio. Are you feeling all right, Excellency? Don't worry about me, Mendoza. I know what I'm doing. There is a law which states that a Comandante may seize the property of a person convicted of treason. The, uh, the property I have in mind presently belongs to Don Cornelio Esperon. Is he guilty of treason? That uh, should not be too difficult to prove, uh, one way or another. But why give it to Garcia? Sergeant Garcia will be good enough to hold it for us. After this whole affair has quieted down, I can think of nothing easier than taking it back from him. Don Demetrio Lopez Garcia. Buenas tardes, my good friends. Buenas tardes, Sergeant. Come into the tavern and let me buy you a drink. 
What? Just a token of friendship. You too, little one. Ah. Uh, well, Sergeant, uh, what is this auspicious occasion? My good friend, today. As a matter of fact, a few moments ago, I decided to perhaps retire and become an haciendado like Don Alejandro or yourself, Don Diego. Uh, very slowly, Sergeant. Uh, would you mind repeating that? Not at all. A few moments ago, I decided that perhaps I would retire and become an haciendado. Don Diego, it seems that I... Uh, please, Sergeant, uh, would you allow me to play this time? Gracias, Don Diego, if you insist. Uh Now, what, what is this you were saying about getting an hacienda? Well, I am not quite sure about the details, but uh, my good friend, His Excellency, Senor Basilio, is going to arrange everything. Your friend, Senor Basilio? See, si. oh, Don Diego, he likes me. He even apologized to me. And then he told me that my faithful service should be rewarded. You're making a joke. No, Don Diego, I, I wouldn't do a thing like that. <laughs> Well, I don't understand it, Sergeant, but I'm very happy for you. Uh, congratulations. Gracias, Don Diego. I think. man follows you around like a slave. We are all slaves, senorita. Slaves to duty and slaves to beauty. Well, are you enjoying yourself, Sergeant? Oh, si, senor Basilio. Somehow wine seems to taste so much better from a Venetian glass. Really? Venetian? I hadn't noticed. But then I have had eyes only for Senorita Monita. Gracias. Tell me, Sergeant, uh, what other things have you discovered? Uh, forgive me, Don Cornelio, but I like to encourage my men to show an interest in the finer things. Well, that's very commendable, Senor. Sergeant, feel free to examine anything. Gracias, Don Cornelio, but it will not be necessary. Oh, anymore. come now, don't be embarrassed, Sergeant. After all, as a future haciendado, you will have to learn to accept hospitality graciously. Ah. Now those, for instance. Come, my dear. Those candle holders are beautiful. And by candlelight, your eyes seem to be flecked with gold. Tell me, Sergeant, where would you say these candle holders were made? France. They are exquisite. What a pity we're not better friends with the French. Ah, now there is something equally beautiful. Come, my dear. What workmanship. What attention to detail. Such a thing as this could have come only from one country. Where, Sergeant? England? Yes. England, Spain's mortal enemy. Sergeant, I deeply regret that you should have pointed these things out to me. Senor Basilio. In a moment, De La Vega. My dear. I truly regret that I should have to inject a, an unpleasant note into what has been an otherwise thoroughly enjoyable evening. Please forgive me. But I don't understand. Don Basilio, you seem to have taken offense at some of my possessions. Not I, Don Cornelio, but the King of Spain. Your glasses, your silver service, 
and these candle holders, and I am certain a great many other things that the sergeant could find, were all obtained in open defiance of the law which explicitly forbids the possession of these articles. Your Excellency, we all know that this is an obsolete law. It is nevertheless a law, and as such it will be enforced. Cornelio Esperon, it is my duty to arrest you for trading with the enemy, for smuggling illegal merchandise, and for high treason to His Majesty the King. Well, this is ridiculous. Capitan Mendoza! Surely you are joking. I am sorry, my dear. Believe me, I am. But I have no other choice. It's my duty to enforce the law. Father? Excellency. Senor Esperon is under arrest. Take him away. No, Father. It will be all right, Mother. Diego, take care of her. Oh, uh, Senor de la Vega, I will need your testimony at the trial. You will come? You can count on it. Good. And once again, Senorita, I must tell you how sorry I was to do this. However, feel free to visit your father at any time. Buenas noches. Oh, uh, of course you understand that under the law, this hacienda and all the lands connected with it are confiscated? Oh, I almost forgot. Congratulations, Sergeant. As the soldier who discovered this treason, all this will be yours when you retire. Now, Sergeant, about the hearing tomorrow, you know what you're to say, of course. I cannot accuse Don Cornelio of smuggling and treason when everybody in Los Angeles owns something that was not made in Spain. I choose not to hear that, Sergeant. Nevertheless, it is true. It had better not be, because if it is, then you are the one who is guilty of treason. Me? And for you, the penalty would be death. A death penalty for me? Why? If, as acting Comandante, you publicly admit that everyone trades with the enemies of Spain, then you are guilty of treason because you have willfully failed to enforce His Majesty's laws. But I didn't. I mean, I haven't. And for that, I will see you hang! Stand up when His Excellency is speaking to you. Well, Sergeant, I, I hope our little talk hasn't upset you. Of course not, Your Excellency. Good. I want you to understand the situation. If you testify against Don Cornelio, he will be exiled, and you will take over all his lands and properties. But if you testify that Don Cornelio's treasonable acts are common practice, you will hang. Is that clear? Si, Senor Basilio. And if you mention a word of this conversation, you will wish, in the end, that I had hanged you. Buenas tardes, Sergeant. <laughs> Excellency. When Don Cornelio is convicted of treason, are you really going to exile him? Certainly. But uh, only as far as the gallows. Buenas tardes, Corporal Reyes. Lugo. Buenas tardes, Don Demetrio. Just call me Sergeant, or even Demetrio. Is that an order, Sergeant? Of course not. Gracias, Don Demetrio. Let's go. Somehow I don't feel very thirsty anymore.
Yes, yes, I said to, but I do not have any money. That is quite all right, Don Demetrio. But your friend, Senor Basilio, has guaranteed your credit until you receive your blood money for selling out Don Cornelio. <laughs> Buenas tardes, Sergeant. Buenas tardes, Don Diego. And to you, little one. Sit down, Don Diego. Please sit down. I'd be delighted. Is it some wine, Don Diego? No, 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 thank you. I uh, would like a word with you, however. Gracias, Don Diego. I knew you were my friend. Well, I hope I am. I hope you are Don Cornelio's also. Oh, yes, Don Diego, believe me. Good, I knew you wouldn't testify against him. You do not understand, Don Diego. I must. You're right, Sergeant. I do not understand. Explain it to me. Well, uh, that is to say, I... Go on. I'm sorry, Don Diego. I must do what I must do. Well, now I think I do understand. Don Demetrio. I have better uses for my time. Will you excuse me? But... But nothing. I don't understand the sergeant either. We've got to make him change his mind about testifying. Certainly. Senor Zorro, I hope. Yes, sergeant. Zorro. Thank goodness. The way things have been happening, it could have been Corporal Reyes, even. I'm so glad to see you. It is nice to have someone to talk to, even if it is you. All right, Sergeant. Talk to me. Tell me, why are you going to testify against Don Cornelio? That is one thing I cannot tell you. Does becoming a landowner mean that much to you, Sergeant? Oh, no, Senor Zorro. You must believe me. I am happy just being a soldier. <laughs> Can't you see how happy I am? I don't want Don Cornelio's hacienda. Then why are you taking it? Well, I... I... Look, Sergeant, all you have to do is to testify that nearly everyone in Los Angeles has bought goods from other countries and Don Cornelio will go free. Will you do it? And if I do not testify against Don Cornelio, Senor Basilio will... Senor Basilio will not give you Don Cornelio's hacienda. Is that it, Sergeant? Please, Senor Zorro. Well, let me tell you this. If you do testify against Don Cornelio, I'm going to cover Z right on the seat of your trousers. I know, Senor Zorro. You always do. Only this time, Sergeant. I'll do it from this side. Sergeant Garcia, you haven't made your inspection yet. Do I have to come in and get you? Remember, Sergeant, from this side. Sergeant Garcia! Oh, shut up! I hope I have been able to make my position clear. I am an humble servant of the law, a simple subject of His Majesty the King of Spain. Whatever be my feelings in this matter, there is only one course that I may follow. The law has been violated, and the law must be satisfied. It would not surprise me if he started to cry. Because this is a hearing and not a trial, I shall call but one witness, and he will be able to supply all the facts pertinent to this situation. I now call Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia. Now, Sergeant Garcia, will you tell us in your own words of the smuggling, the treachery, and the treason 
that you discovered at the Hacienda of Cornelio Esperon? Well, I... May I have a glass of water, please, Excellency? Yes, of course. Help yourself, Sergeant. Gracias, Excellency. Now, you found numerous items forbidden by law to be in the possession of California citizens. Is that true? See. Si. And you were surprised, were you not, to discover this evidence? We're waiting, Sergeant. You did not know of this treasonable traffic, did you? Otherwise, you would be guilty of treason yourself. All right, then I am guilty, because I knew of it. You about it? Do you realize what you're saying? See, si. even the governor and the viceroy, they know that we trade with other ships that come to California. It is a common practice. Are you confessing to treason in open court? They tell me, Your Excellency, that confession is good for the soul. If anyone moves, Senor Marsilio dies. Everyone stand still. A wise decision, Senor. Let's see if we cannot broaden the base of our confession in open court. I noticed this coat you are wearing is made of exceptionally fine wool. Where is it from? Where was it made, Excellency? Uh, England. Well, Excellency, what do we have here? Uh, an excellent watch, eh, Sergeant? Where would you say it was made? Switzerland. You know that's exquisite brocade in your vest, senor. Thomas, where did it come from? I can explain. Where did it come from? France. <laughs> For the sake of modesty, senor, we will assume that the pants were made in Spain. <laughs> and now, Your Excellency, do you wish to render a verdict? Are you, the sergeant, and Don Cornelio guilty or not guilty of treason? Not guilty. Hey, Lugo, did you hear that? Not guilty. There's no one to guard now. Come on. Zorro! Mendoza! Mendoza, get me down! Get me down! Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the most dangerous moment in the adventurous life of Zorro. De La Vega. Zorro unmasked. You'll be stunned, thrilled by the amazing revelations and dramatic tenseness next week when Zorro takes a dare. Don't miss it.
Out of the night when the full moon is bright Comes a horseman known as Zorro This bold renegade carves a Z with his blade A Z that stands for Zorro Zorro, Zorro who makes the sign of the Z Zorro, Zorro 